Yo guys, what is going on? It's me, Joseph Fierro, coming at you with a brand new Flash video. So today I'm going to be discussing this new theory that I've been talking about. I've been discussing it with some other people. And so yeah, I just want to share it with you guys. Uh, as always, please leave your comments down in the comment section of what you guys think of my theory. So yeah, no better way to say this, but let's get right into the theory. Whoosh. Th that was supposed to be the sound effect to the next picture. I hope that worked. Yeah. Okay, anyway. So, my theory is that Ronnie is still alive on Earth 2. So, obviously we know that the Singularity was uh, basically like a portal to Earth 2. And it brought Jay Garrick to Earth 1. So, we saw that Ronnie went into the Singularity to save Central City from the Singularity. Um, basically saving the world because it would have kind of destroyed the whole world, uh, according to Martin Stein. So... Uh, Ronnie uh, separated with uh, Dr. Stein and Ronnie went into the singularity and he supposedly died. But I think that's not all there is to it. I think Ronnie got sucked into the portal and ended up on Earth 2. So Earth 2 Ronnie got the same powers as Earth 1 Ronnie from the particle accelerator because we saw in Earth 2 uh, Killer Frost from Earth 2 and Ronnie from Earth 2 were like dating and they were like a girlfriend and boyfriend and Ronnie had fire powers. So my guess is that uh, Earth 1 Ronnie could have had a little fire power left in him when he went to Earth 2. And so the Earth 2 Ronnie uh, saw his Earth 1 doppelganger with fire powers and it inspired Earth 2 Ronnie to use his fire powers. So that is why Earth 2 Ronnie started to become fire, Firestorm. Death Storm or something. What didn't didn't uh, Earth Two Ronnie call himself like Death Storm or Firestorm? No, it was like Death Storm, right? Yeah. Correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong. I think it was Death Storm, but yeah. So um, Earth Two Killer Frost said she loves to kill people from other Earths. She could say this because uh, this could have been because um, when Earth One Ronnie came to Earth Two, she wanted to kill him but failed. However, she enjoyed the sensation of chasing down Earth One Ronnie and trying to kill him. She like she enjoyed the rush and like that feeling that you get when you're trying to kill breachers. So um, Cisco tells Earth Two Killer Frost that something tells him she's not as cold as he thought she was. So Cisco says says this, and I quote: "Something tells me you're not as cold as I thought you were." So, Killer Frost responds with this, maybe, maybe not. She says this because secretly, she let, in all caps on let, she let Earth One Ronnie live because he has the same face as her boyfriend, which is Earth Two Ronnie, which makes her not as cold as others would think. So secretly, Killer Frost let Earth One Ronnie live because he has the same face as her boyfriend and she would never want to kill someone with the same face as her boyfriend. So uh, last piece of evidence right here. When Cisco tells Earth 2 Killer Frost that Earth 1 Caitlyn was devastated after losing the love of her life, which was Ronnie, Killer Frost from Earth 2 pauses because she realizes in her mind that the Ronnie she let stay alive was her dopper, dopper, doppelganger's love. So all of this was because Earth 1 Ronnie is secretly in Earth 2. So I'm just going to kind of tell you what happened from the start. So I'm just going to kind of put it in order, like sometimes I do in my theories. So, Earth 1, there's a big singularity. Firestorm goes up into the singularity to go stop it. So he goes into the singularity and he separates with Martin Stein. Martin Stein stays in Earth 1, but Ronnie gets thrusted into Earth 2, not knowing where he is. And then Kill, uh, Killer Frost and Earth 2 Ronnie, Earth 2 Killer Frost and Earth 2 Ronnie find Earth 1 Ronnie using his fire powers. And Earth 2 Ronnie says, oh man, I should use my fire powers like this guy. So that is why he becomes a villain because he want, he was inspired by Earth One Ronnie using his powers. 
So, Earth 2 Killer Frost goes chasing Earth 1 Ronnie because she likes to kill other breachers. But she lets him live because he has the same face as her boyfriend. And he stays there and he's in Earth 2 currently living alone. Not knowing where the heck he is or where to find a way out. And Earth 2 Killer, Killer Frost has been thinking about this. Of why she let him go. And that she might not be as cold as she thought she was. Or others would think. So, what do you guys think of my theory? Do you think it's totally crazy and Earth One Ronnie is definitely dead for sure? Or do you think it's actually really possible that Ronnie could be alive? I don't know, we'll see. My guess is that this is gonna be explained in season four and Ronnie will find a way out and he will help Team Flash once more. Yeah, as always, thanks for clicking on this video, guys. I'm Joseph Fierro. Peace out, speedsters.